Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. This is the weekday. It's Monday to Friday, it's back. So let's begin. This is a short reading. Again, short reading, okay? <laughs> Gonna ask for long, it's already short. Okay, here we go, let's begin. In, the, in my wise words, a relationship must be long enough to be read for an hour. Mm. 10 years is still short. Mm. So five months of dating, back and forth, ghosting. Two minutes, I already know. Person is not gonna come back. That's it. That's the reading right there. Mm -hmm. The shade cell. Good morning. I'm also doing a psychic uh, with my celestial. Here we go. People who come here are for the sass, to be honest. They like that. Okay. The hangman, prince of wands, high priest. Oh, see? You're not talking to the person. Let's see. Why not? Why are you avoiding crisis? Oh, so someone's name here is Jeffrey Joff. Something about Jeffrey or Joff. I'm just seeing here in the name. Okay. Um, you thought about it time and time where this person is just useless to your life. It's just useless, Al. I thought about it. Like after the 2021, it really doesn't make sense. So I prayed for signs, symbols, synchronicity with the universe. Like, can you give me a sign if I really should be with this person and why is this person in my life? Because the hangman is enlightenment, right? Mm, I showed it to you guys. Mm. But the high priestess is connecting with the occult. So you've done all the mystic work. You know, a full moon, a new moon, eclipsed, you know, rituals, trying to figure out what is this connection about? Because I felt like... There was no growth with me with 2021, with 2020, with 2019. Ever since I met this person, there was no growth. But you don't see the growth. The growth is spirituality. You're learning more about yourself. Exactly. So now it comes to the part where this person is your catalyst, a catalyst for your transformation. And you're going to see this. This week is going to be like a, a moment, a aha moment for you to understand. It's like, oh, now I understand. This person is somewhat like a karmic. Mm -hmm. Somewhat, but not. Somewhat, but not. Because you guys can be friends. Or you are friends with this person. And then it just didn't get there because you guys have a connection in a way. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. It feels like it was platonic and then developed feelings and then not really. And then it's like, okay, then what is this about? Mm -hmm. So you got mixed signals, not mixed drinks. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Relationships are like drinks. Sometimes you just want it straight, neat. Just like a good whiskey. Or sometimes you have to be so crazy that you gotta get a Muay Thai. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Or a Long Island iced tea. Then you know the next day, bangenge ka for sure. Mm-hmm. The person is under trying to understand why you stop talking to them. They do have a desire to communicate with you and they feel like this strong soul connection. Now... This person likes to read books or lead, reads a lot of books, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I'm seeing here, they read, they read, they read. I'm seeing it here. Mm. You might get some gift from this person, like some something like a chocolate, chocolate box. You haven't received it, it's a future prediction. So do watch out for February. You might get some, like truffle chocolates okay all right i see you have taste over there royce of course royce if you want to do good get royce okay <laughs> not godiva what are you high school mm -hmm. a person wants to take you out this is going to be in the february i'm seeing here but this is already like you will feel the energy this first week of january that i think this person wants to do something for the v-day the valentine's day Mm-hmm. Okay. This person just got yelled out by their mom. I don't know what that means. They had a little spat with the mom. You may hear from them. They're going to tell you that. It's like, yeah, my mom is just talking some stuff. Because you guys are not fighting with each other. You're assessing. What is this connection? Like, what is this about? You know? They know. is For them, you, you're a soulmate. They, for them, it's just like, yeah, I really like the Pisces. I feel like we do have a good connection. You don't. <laughs> on you know, ver, you know, reverse on them, you don't. I don't see that. I see that we have been talking, seeing each other, 
but there is no progress in my life. Mm -mm, no. I'm hearing the name Alicia. Alicia. Okay. Alice. Alice. Alicia. Alicia. <laughs> Alice is go. <laughs> Maybe it's a. Uh, I have a Filipino guide today. <laughs> Uh, oh, Ace of Cups, Pisces, you love them. Mm -hmm. Oh, Justice card. Okay, maybe a lawyer, an attorney. My, 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 what if it's a judge? A bailiff can be also. <laughs> Anybody in the courtroom? A stenographer then. Mm -hmm. Now, the more you think about it, it's just like, it kind of grew into you where it's like, I really like this person. Okay. I'm interested. Oh, you're diving deep to your emotions and feelings now, Pisces. Be careful. Those are murky waters. Exp exploring love is like glowing, grow, going to the black hole. We don't know. People get ripped apart just falling in love. Oh, yes, it does. Mm -hmm. It sucks you in. And look at it now. As above, so below, you manifested. Yeah, I did pray for love, like someone, you know, to be there for me. And it's this friend kind of ish. We have something awkward. Yes, we talk. I like them. They like me. But where is it really going? Because the Ace of Cups is here. The more you think about it, the more you're falling in love. Ooh, been there, done that. Don't think. Run. <laughs> I avoid feelings. I have no time for that. No, don't do that. Okay. You always have to accept the feelings, guys, okay? That's for me. I, I have a mission. I'm like Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible. <laughs> the double, the one that they throw in the river normally. I'm that. <laughs> the person seeks to understand you, balances out the relationship, and they're, try they're, trying, they're trying their best. They're all about, it's like, I wonder what the Pisces want. They're going shopping, by the way. Well, they're thinking about it's like, mm, the Pisces would like this. Oh, the Pisces would like that. Mm -hmm. The Pisces would like this. They're about trying to please you. There's a surprise that this person is going to offer to you, especially with the Justice card. Link down there in the description box below. This is your weekday. It's Monday to Friday. It's back. I'll see you guys. Hi, everyone. So for this week's um, Mystic Magic Remedies, um, I have here different kinds of clear points, clear, uh, clear points, crystal points, because I'm looking at the, at the clear quartz, this Lemurian. Okay. Like Bakel. Okay. Bakel, meaning I made a mistake over there, because there's no, it is impromptu, of course. Um, so you can see here different kinds of um, crystal points that we call also as obelisk. Now, who needs to have it? And why do you need it? And do you, is it really necessary to have a big piece or a small piece? Those are the different questions that I can um, answer for you. Does size matter? Aesthetically, yes. Um, energetically, the smaller doesn't much uh, make a difference to the big one. But of course, frequency-wise, you will really see the energy of a, of a crystal. It grows, it expands. So of course, naturally, a bigger one. But of course, your fate is the always the always a thing that would align you to what you're manifesting. So it's about your belief, it's about your heart, it's about your soul. These are all just mystic tools. Now, we have different kinds of clear points, uh, crystal points, okay? <laughs> crystal points in our store. So you can visit eatreadlove.me and you can check it all out. We also have some new ones coming this week. Um, smoky quartz, of course, is a big smoky quartz right here. Um, this one I have it at my entryway in my in my house, um, so that of course it's always protective and it um, basically it blocks off any kind of negativity. So I have this one. I have a bigger um, rose quartz, bigger than this, like this tall, also in front of my doorway in the entrance, so that to invite more love and self healing and love and self healing. Now, Lemurian is for me to always connect with my ancestors and with my guides. And then, of course, we have the smoky quartz. Uh, no, sorry, smoky. Um, this is a natural citrine, which is, of course, for abundance and prosperity. Clear quartz is a master healer. Tiger's eye is grounding. And, of course, this one is a special um, um, crystal point 
because it is a geode at the same time. It's an amethyst. And this one is, um, this one, I put this in my living room because um, that's where I want to, um, for me, so that I'm not there. Yes, because amethyst makes you work. It's Saturn, so I don't, I'm not lazy. So, <laughs> so I put amethyst in my living room so I don't sit down on a couch. I don't have time to sit down. So that's how I put it strategically in my house. So also if I have a guest, they don't sit down on my nice couch. <laughs> okay. So so you can check it out. Okay. So you can see here. I, I'll put it in the camera too. Okay. So go check um, what crystal point okay, would you like and would you need in your home. These are ideal for your home as, you know, it's big pieces, okay? Or maybe in your sacred space in your altar. So thank you very much, guys. And this is, again, your mystic magic remedy and everything that I can come up with so that people um, are always uh, learning, okay, um, with what I do. I'm always excited to share. Bye, guys.